Migration experiences do not end when someone reaches their destination. Instead, the process of becoming an active participant in social, economic, and political affairs of the host country begins. We generally refer to this as immigrant integration. In this new series, we will look specifically at how well national policies facilitate migrant or more specifically immigrant integration on a country-by-country -country basis. So let's kick off the series by looking at the favorability of integration policies in France. This series will use data from the Migrant Integration Policy Index, or MIPEX for short. We've previously looked at this index in the channel before and broken down the method used to score a country based on its policy favorability. Check out the explainer video linked in the description below to learn more. In general, the index ranks countries on a scale of 1 to 100 based on the favorability of their migrant integration policies, with a score of 100 being the highest possible score. For these purposes, favorable policies promote migrant integration by facilitating opportunities for participation in the host society. They also champion equal treatment of migrants and the local population. Now let's look at France's overall MIPEX score, which is 56 as of 2019. This places the country in the halfway favorable category, so there is definitely room for improvement. Remember that since France is part of the European Union, we're only looking at policies pertaining to non-EU citizens. This is because citizens of other European countries automatically have the right to live, work, and study in France. In addition to this score of 56, MIPEX researchers also classify France's policies as supporting temporary integration. This means that while migrants' basic rights are granted and equal opportunities are supported in the short run, there are still barriers to permanent residency and societal participation as full citizens. To uncover these nuances, let's look at some different dimensions of migrant integration policy in France. MIPEX measures eight policy dimensions or areas related to integration. In this video, we will just look at the two highest and the two lowest scoring areas for simplicity. For a full breakdown of France's scores in all dimensions, be sure to check out the website. Anti-discrimination has the highest score among the dimensions at 79. France is in line with other Western European countries by having strong anti-discrimination policies and reporting mechanisms in place for people who face discrimination. This helps reshape societal attitudes and helps foster trust in social institutions. Additionally, France has a score of 70 for access to nationality. Migrants must reside in the country for at least five years before being able to apply for this, which is in line with other countries in the area. Plus, migrants are allowed to keep their previous citizenship as well. There are a few shortcomings in this dimension, namely that the procedure is characterized as discretionary. This means that there is an extent to which officers processing citizenship applications have flexibility when making decisions and can use their own judgment rather than following strict, clear requirements. Essentially, not all applications are treated equally and not even all migrants are equally encouraged to apply. Among the lowest scoring dimensions are education and family reunification. Education has a score of 36 and this is mainly due to a lack of targeted support for migrant and refugee students. Indeed, while the first and second generation students have the right to go to school and even study at university, it is not always possible for students to exercise these rights due to unaddressed disadvantages such as language barriers, for example. The lack of targeted support combined with a lack of appreciation for diversity in school curricula is what earns France this low score. France's score for family reunification is 43, which indicates that reuniting separated migrant families in France is comparatively harder than in most Western European countries. Similarly to the citizenship procedure, France's application procedure here is lengthy and discretionary. Additionally, there are still economic and accommodation requirements that are difficult to fulfill. Nevertheless, France has removed some barriers, such as pre-departure language and integration requirements for family members outside of Europe. This brings us to some other changes in France's integration policy from the last time it was scored by MIPEX. 
From 2014 to 2019, the country's overall score increased by three points due to some positive adjustments to integration policies. Besides the changes to family reunification procedures, there has been an introduction of more targeted programs for helping migrants and refugee students access university-level degree programs. Specifically concerning refugees, the national government has formed delegations to engage in discussions with refugees to better understand their background and needs. Finally, there has been an increase in research on migrant health, which is a pertinent topic in both destination and origin countries. Finally, the MyPix team has issued a set of policy recommendations based on its analysis. There is a need for more widespread recognition of foreign diplomas and certifications since this will help migrants enter the French labor force with less hassle or need to redo their studies. There is also a need for increased public funding of language programs, especially for work-related French language skills. Regarding the citizenship procedure, the exact requirements need to be specific and transparent to the public so there is less room for officials to use their personal discretion when making decisions. For application processing, specifically for family reunification, there needs to be a reasonable maximum time limit so that families are not kept in limbo for extensive periods of time. Finally, a way to further promote participation in civic matters is by extending the right to vote in local elections to migrants. This helps involve them in the formulation and implementation of policies that will directly affect them. I hope this quick glance at the favorability of France's integration policies has helped you understand the country's current situation. If you found this video useful, please feel free to take a look at the 56 countries with MyPEC scores and leave us a comment with which ones you'd like to hear more about. I hope you'll also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any new videos we upload every week. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.